my package is here. So ridiculous. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maja Monteiro or MJ, as some of y'all already know. You know the drill. I'm super excited to, oh my God. Oh my God. Not only did it fall, but it was a knife falling. Okay, don't worry guys, I ain't trying to kill nobody. This is just to open my Sephora VIP Rouge sale package. Chan, 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 chan. To be honest, I don't know if I should be excited or nervous. I'm not really sure if I'm happy or really scared. <laughs> or really scared. I need to stop this. I'm feeling some type of way. My friend had a not so cool experience receiving her package. So I'm a bit nervous about my package too. Seriously, there's nothing worse than having a terrible customer journey. We are excited to get our products and we really wanna be in a situation where we get them and things are in place. It's tough enough to wait for the packages to arrive. Now. You have them arrive and they don't look exactly how you expected them to be. Not cool, not cool, Sephora, not cool. Her Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette was not in good condition. There was powder everywhere. It wasn't a good packaging. Now, I don't know why that happened. So hopefully this baby right here is fabulous because otherwise y'all already know I'ma be very upset. Now we don't want that, uh-huh. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, come on, man. Come on. It's about time you do your thing. Like the video, subscribe to my channel so you can know what's popping. I'm doing this for y'all. Show some love, you know? Okay. I really gotta rush to work and I really don't wanna be late. Here we go. So I have my list with me just to be sure that we got all of our items in the box. We don't wanna have a situation where something is missing. Now tell me, now. Mm-hmm, a lot of things happening in the world. We got to control what's popping. All right, let's do this, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God. You know, I get really excited with these boxes and unboxing things. I know, like, I feel like it's all of that experience of opening the box and, you know, you've been waiting for this for such a long time and you just want everything to be perfect. So I was really sad when my friend didn't get to feel that entire experience to the full extent. It was just like not 100% and it's just sad. I just hope that, well, we don't have stuff happening like right here on camera. This is the list of the products. Let's just see what's popping. Really, really interesting. A few papers just there. We just like throw it on the floor. Yes. <laughs> I'm just seeing things shining. Shining, 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 shining. Oh my God. Okay, so what is this? Okay, guys, I have been waiting for this Glam Glow kit like, <laughs> like deeply dreaming and drooling over this kit. I will tell you that this was like my favorite thing. My favorite thing, guys. When I went to Sephora, I got a few samples of this product. For those of you who have been following me from day one, I have been complaining a lot about my skin and I have been promising to do a skin routine video, which I will. I was just waiting for this. Thank you, Sephora, for making my life easier. And uh, I was just really waiting for this kit to arrive for me to be able to do a full face skin routine for you guys to see how I take care of it. I mean, it wouldn't look good like with the sample thing me just like uh, squeezing all of the sample things like on camera it don't look good it don't look honey it ain't cute and it ain't fabulous since we all fabulous in here here we are guys so you will be seeing a face routine really really soon and I'm really excited for this oh my god let me just see what's in there you yeah. know Come on, let me just take this box away. It's just ridiculous. Let me give you the price on this. I got the Super Mud Kit. 
cost me $79 but guys let me tell you just the sample it was a quick decision for me like it really did wonders to my skin let me just open to see what's in it okay includes full-size super mud clearing treatment our number one best-selling mask okay. Okay. Ooh, a little pinky thing look at that you know who doesn't like pink we all like a pink, pink pamper. It should be like this. It comes with the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment and the names, oh my God. It's like deep. It's like it's gonna go deep in your skin. Anyway, Gravity Mud Firming Treatment it needs some firming. We need that firming, I'm just saying. The other one is Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. That's cool. And obviously our all-time favorite, the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I mean, this is so awesome. It's just amazing. Let me just go ahead and smell each and every one of them. So let's smell the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. Everything is black. Woo! It smells like it goes deep. Damn. Mm -mm. I want to open this because this is what I was like really waiting for. This is like awesome. Oh my gosh. It's strong, but at least you know it's like a good strong. Can you see that, guys? It's pretty dope. This is really dope. I tried it a couple of times and the sample's finished. That's why I was just waiting for this to arrive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my skin thanks you. Let's just go right ahead and see some other stuff. I was so excited to try these. This is the Urban Decay Vice Metal Meets Matte Lipstick Palette. I will be honest with you, my lip game is not that strong. I do have beautiful colors that I like, very striking colors, but I'm pretty much on some sameness note. And I, woo! <laughs> Don't do this to me, you know? Yo! Yo! This is expensive right there. Vice. Urban Decay. That's what I'm talking about. Metal meets matte lipstick palette. Yo! This is so B E A beautiful. Oh my God. Guys, look at this. There's nothing like a beautiful packaging to make your life so amazing, amazing. It makes us feel so fabulous and so cared for as customers. I mean, this palette cost me 45 bucks and I will tell you something, it hurt my feelings a lot because I have been eyeing the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette for such a long time and I was like you know what let me just give this lipstick palette a try before I go ahead with the eyeshadow palette I have been buying a lot of eyeshadow palettes and stuff so I just wanted to treat my lips a bit better you know lips is lips when your lip game is on your life is on yeah now whoa but guys let's just see this Chan, 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 O, M, G. This is why I got it. Look at the reds. Look at the purples. Look at those colors. So perfect for this season. All in one. I'm gonna up my lip game so hard with these ones. Absolutely fabulous. I'm super excited to try these on. And this packaging, come on. Let's just come on. It's like, bro. Bro. Yo, bro. You see this? Done. What's next? Oh no, honey. Let me check my lips. Uh-huh. Which one is it gonna be today? Lit. Absolutely lit. Very litty. Oh, this is so cute, the applicator. But look at this color. It's called banger it's really really pretty i really want to try that one god let's just try it you know they're gonna have to live with my lips looking different as long as your lip game is on 
Oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> Urban Decay. You're going to kill me. You did it with this one. You just. <laughs> when I tell you. Urban Decay. You did it with this one. You got me. Let's just try and see how it looks. <gasps> it's really pigmented. I'm trying not to go really hard with it because obviously, as I mentioned before, I'm going to lurk. Oh, I find the applicator is a bit too harsh on them lips. Hmm. But these are very, very pigmented. I love this though. The way it just pops, super cool. I really love it. It's really cute. Hopefully, I will be coming up with a look really soon wearing some of these. Not hopefully, I definitely will. As I mentioned earlier, my friend didn't have a really good experience when she got her package. It was actually the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. She was talking so well about these that I really thought I should give them a try. I love the Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette, so I thought why not try these ones as well. So I got these two. The Electric and the Smoky eyeshadow palettes from the Obsessions collection. They were really cute. I'm gonna open both of them. Like the Smoky... O-M-G! I don't know what to say right now. I don't know. Remember how I was talking about the customer journey and how everything can be destroyed by one thing not being perfect? And I was talking about my friend's experience with her Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette? You will not believe this. I am not happy at all. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look at that. absolutely ridiculous how can people just i really don't <sighs> how the this is i'm gonna die why you know when you're already stressed and everything just starts happening at the same time. So I'm really not happy about this. The colors were really pretty. I was really looking forward for the smoky eye. But to be honest right now, I can't really show my excitement because I'm not. But again, I was scared that this was going to happen to my package as well. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I'll be returning this. I don't want to look at it. This is just bad. Let's see how the other one looks. It's just like everywhere. I can't. I cannot believe this. I just can't. It's so bad, guys. Really bad for customer experience. Sephora. Here it is. The Electric Obsessions. To be... <sighs> Like, I'm really, I'm really shocked by this and not happy as a customer with this situation. This is really bad. Look at that. So ridiculous. This is going back. Look at that. Really sad. This was the exact same palette my friend had issues with. So I guess it's a thing, you know, it's a thing of the Smoky Obsessions palette. I will be returning this and I will not speak about this until the situation is fixed. I am extremely annoyed right now. And uh, yeah, but anyways, this costs 35 bucks. Not worth it. Let's just see things for what they are. And I wanted you guys to know why I really got this. I think the colors are great. This black and this silver right here is also really, really pretty. Do you see that silver? Pretty neat, hey? Pretty neat. But these colors are pretty sweet. And I just wanted you guys to see how it really is supposed to look. I just got one of these black charcoal sheet masks. These are pretty cool. 
I've never tried this one in specific, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I just got it really quick. It's just right there. I just took it and I went. Oh, this silver baby. Woo! I love this silver. Moving along. Look at this beauty. The colors are really gorgeous. This is the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. It costs 35 bucks as well. It's super cute. I don't know how to do this swatch thing, but I'll try. And then I have all of this black thing happening here. I'm not surprised. It's Huda Beauty. Her other palettes were always has pigmented. I still have to go to work, so I didn't want to use up that much. The colors are really pretty. They look really good. I like it. Pocket size, nice to have. It doesn't take up too much space. I just thought they were really great. So I got this nice, sexy. Please don't mind the blacks on my hands. Like this Huda Beauty got me like, this is super cool, eh? Yeah, so I got this Bite Beauty Movember liquid lipstick. I'm really looking forward for this one. Like the color is really, really pretty. Let me look at that. Baby, oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. I should just try it out. A lot of people talking great stuff about this product, so I definitely went with the bandwagon and I decided to get one for myself because I really wanted a color like that in my collection. It really looks great. Mm, wouldn't you guys agree? Ooh la la. Mm, 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 mm. Cool. It's kind of cute. One of the things I wanted to try is powder foundation. And I thought this would be a great time to try something new. And in my experience, Clinique has always had great skin products. And I thought, why not try? So I just went ahead and I opened this one. Look at the packaging. There you go. The usual drill, Clinique doing their thing. I got this powder foundation in golden. I'm not sure if it's my shade or not, but it seemed like it when I saw it online. Oh, and this is really pretty. Look at that. I'm gonna do it here. It seems to blend pretty well with my skin tone. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation Plus Concealer. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. I've never tried a powder foundation before. Hopefully this is gonna be a faster option for me, especially because I'm always rushing here and there and work and I'm really short in time and I'm trying to find makeup that is easier and faster to use on a daily basis. I do like the entire shebang and beat face and all of that and blah, blah, blah and the contouring. But when time is scarce, you really need something that's gonna be that best. So the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation cost me $36. Okay, so let's just jump right ahead to the other one. I'm really skeptical about new products, to be honest. I'm very traditional. When I like a product, I stick to it. When I see that it works on my skin, especially when it comes to foundations, I did mention a couple of videos ago that I've always worn MAC until I started trying new products quite recently, such as the Estee Lauder foundation, which I've actually been very, very happy with. You know, change is good, it's fresh. And I thought, well, if I'm in this change tip, it would be great to just try out other foundations, other brands and see what they have to give. I decided to get a few samples of some new products and Tarte is one of the brands that I would like to try it out and uh because i've been on a foundation hunt and trying to see what's out there i've decided to give these samples a try it's the amazonian clay 12 hour full coverage foundation they have it in a couple of shades here fair light honey light neutral light medium sand medium honey tan honey well I don't know which one of the honeys it's going to be, but it seems like it's gonna be one of those in the darker shades. And all the lighter ones, I might probably just use them as concealers or something. I'm not really sure. Next, so I got this Fresh Sugar Nourishing Lip Balm. It's something cool that I really wanted to try as well. It's a sample. And let's see if I like, I buy. Winter is here and this season can be pretty harsh on your lips. So definitely I wanted to give my lips a lot of care. Oh my God, it looks like a little medicine. 
Anyways, it's a sample. I didn't expect anything more than that. Yeah. I'm just maybe not happy with my... Ugh. Ugh. Because we could choose a few gifts and stuff like that, I decided to go for a brush. Just a simple brush. You can never have too many brushes, to be honest. Oh, pretty soft. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, really cool. This is the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. Can't wait to use it. At least something works in here. This was... Oh. I did get a couple of other things throughout the month, so I'll do another video for that. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am looking forward to coming up with really, really cool looks. And if you like this video, don't forget to please show your girl some love and give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Been here, we'll stick around for a while and I want y'all guys to keep coming for some goodies every week. And by the way, I think it's gonna be somewhere here. It has to be here. <laughs> I hope you guys checked my video on fitness. Thank you so much for your love and support. Until then guys, spread love and stay fab. Just say. You know how we do.